Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at the Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore. This is the heel and seal technology version. There are two other versions available. You also have the hybrid solutions version and then the uh, green line version that's found just about absolutely anywhere you would look. I found this version or this kit at a local auto zone. You can find them on eBay, Tractor Supply, and Walmart anywhere uh, price-wise ranging from $21 to $38. The kit includes the precision polishing pads, multicolored and numbered pads with different grits, the spray lubricant, the lens clarifying compound, and then finally the base coat and top coat lens sealing wipes. The two by two inch polishing pads uh, are numbered one to four and also color coded. They start off with a real coarse or a rough grit, number one, and number four is smooth, equivalent to about three or 4,000 grit. We have the perfect candidate to demonstrate the kit, uh, the Puppy Mobile or the Cadillac Escalade, which used to be part of the Flip Series, uh, has headlights that are yellowed, the factory coating has failed, and also we can show its limitations because the lens is also fractured or cracked all the way through to the inside. So I can show what it can do and what it cannot. We need to first shave off the yellowing, failing factory coating. So we'll grab the spray lubricant and we'll grab the sanding discs and we'll start with the first uh, disc, the coarse grit, and work our way down step by step. By the way, this Escalade, uh, which used to be part of the Flip series, and uh, uh, a few have been wondering what happened to that. I was notified by the auction that there was a indeed a lien on the title, and that pretty much halted everything. And by the time it was straightened out, and it finally was, uh, the puppy fell in love with it, and it became hers. So it's what I used to haul her around. I deleted the second and third row seats. She balances herself right in the middle, looks out all the windows, has a 360 degree view and absolutely loves it. So that ended that. And in case, oh, there she is. In case you haven't noticed, uh, I continued on without the Escalade and ended up with the Lamborghini that was just in a recent series. Disc number two, the second step, and the grits are getting finer and finer as we move on. And during every step, you're going to see a white milky substance running down the surface of the lens. And that is that failed yellowing oxidized coating slowly being removed and shaved from the surface. It's also uh, clearing up every step that we move on to. And by the time we get to the polish stage, it'll be easy to clear up the surface or the lens.
City. Once the plastic lens dries a bit, you can see some of the hazing, some of the sand marks left over, and that will easily be cleaned up and removed, cleared up during the next step. Time to grab the lens clarifying compound. This can be done by hand or machine, and uh, I'm gonna show you outside in direct sunlight. You can do it by hand and the results will be fantastic. Once again, after each step, the plastic lens gets clearer and clearer, and it's time to grab the base coat lens wipe. Tear open the foil, pull out the little cloth, unfold it, and uh, quickly you should have both lenses, or whatever plastic lenses you're trying to clear up, have them sanded first, and then use this one little towelet here and apply the base coat to all of the lenses that you want to protect. Do not wipe off, it'll self-level, and let it sit for a few minutes in direct sunlight. It won't take long at all, and then you can apply the top coat or the sealant. Once again, there's only one foil of the base coat and the sealant for all the lenses that you're trying to protect. So uh, be swift and quick about it and get them coated doesn't matter which way you put it on, circular motions, crisscross patterns, as long as you are spreading it out evenly and cover the entire lens. Okay, we came a long way from the cloudy, failed coating on the lens to a new headlight look. It does have its limitations. I'm going to point out over on the driver's side the cracks and fractures all the way through it can't fix those but that's you know obviously other than that it looks like a new lens it's nice and crystal crisp clear uh, at nighttime so you can see no issues with inspection and just the overall look has improved and all we need to do is finish up correct and protect all of the lenses you wish to restore And in no time at all, you have two new lenses up front. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. The pros, it's easy to work with, easy to use. It's simple. It's effective. Uh, the cons, I wish there would be extra foil packs of the base layer and the topper. Um, I would give it an 8 out of 10 and maybe higher once I keep an eye on the lenses and see how they hold up. Will they yellow again? I'll keep you filled in. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.